Hi, welcome to my channel, Science and Vigyan. Today I'm here to show you or to describe the difference between the QSCR and SCR. And I think my screen is visible to everyone. Before proceeding it, please do subscribe my channel and do not forget to like and share the video. If you feel videos are very useful to you, please share the same with your colleagues, with your friends, because we want to spread the knowledge of about the medicinal chemistry. Okay, now I believe my screen is visible to everyone. And if you have any kind of query regarding the QSCR or the medicinal chemistry, you can mention on the chat box, fine. I am happy to answer it. Uh, I believe my screen is visible to everyone. Firstly, I'll tell you what, what is SCR all about, fine. I write here S A R. Okay, S mean, what do you mean by S? S means structure. A mean activity. Activity. And R is relationship. And please do not make the video fast forward or do not skip the video in between. Fine. The topics are interrelated and topics are very useful, but you need to give enough time to the video for understanding it. Fine. Now, SCR means structure activity relationship. I want to show my video here. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Which is this mode? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, now it is fine. Right. Okay. Fine. SCR means structure activity relationship. Now, what do you mean by it? Structure activity relationship mean, for example, you draw any structure. Fine. And during the study, we came to know how structure is related to the activity. Fine. For example, if in any structure there is hydroxyl, if we replace hydroxyl with methyl, we need to know how much activity is changed or if it will remain same. If it is changed, how, how could the possible reasons are, right? Like it's not all about that. We, you need to know the answer only. You have to be strict about their reason also why it's like this. You, you need to mention like, there should be clarity of each and every point, right? Okay, now I'll draw the structure. After that, I'll tell you how you need to write SCR in your study, right? Okay, uh, new window. We'll open the new document. Yeah. Here we cells look it. You can write any, you can tell me any structure. I I would like to explain their SAR.
please move the window from shared application. I don't know why it's okay. This is the cell slick acid. Now we substitute here. For example, I change OH with methyl. After that, I, I need to mention the relation of this atom with this activity. Fine. And in the SAR, in the QSAR, we, we can mention or we can tell the activity in terms of number. Okay, now I'll share again. Uh, wait. Thank God. Share screen. Yeah. Thank God. Now it is fine. Okay. Salicylic acid. Salicylic acid. Okay. For example, I replace I replace this H with CH3. Right. After that, I need to tell what is the effect of this atom onto the activity. That is SAR. But what is QSAR? In the QSAR, for example, earlier the activity of the salicylic acid, for example, I write it's IC50. If earlier the activity of this compound is 3.0, fine. If I substitute H with the methyl, for example, its activity would be 4.5. Fine. That is a QSAR. QSAR means quantitative. SAR is simple one. That is a conventional method. In the QSAR, we can tell the activity in the case of number. Fine. That is a basic difference between both. But before proceeding to QSAR, you need to have a knowledge about SAR. SAR means the basic quantity and the uh, uh, like uh, contribution of the substituting atoms. For example, you need to know what is the effect of methyl, propyl, hydroxyl, phenyl, or all the aliphatic compound or aromatic compound onto the activity. We know how we uh, how we determine the activity. Activity is determined depending on the knowledge of the enzyme ligand interaction study. Fine. We know there are number of enzyme interaction study. If you have a knowledge about that interaction study or you know which interactions are very important in the case of enzyme ligand study or in a receptor ligand study, you can write this SAR also, fine? This video is all about how you can differentiate SAR and the QSAR. SAR is simple one. When you tell either the activities decrease or increase or it will remain same. And in the QSAR mean, we can tell the activity in the case of number, fine? It's all about the today's session. In the please, do subscribe and do, do not for, forget to uh, press the bell icon for the further notification because I'll tell you SAR of further specific drugs, right? Thank you so much and don't, don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you.